I am going to show you how African children can learn math in an enjoyable and interesting way and improve their skills in just a few lessons. I don't mean using the traditional methods with the teacher in front of the class, spelling out boring formula after formula, or using flashcards to memorize equations, or even hiring a math tutor. I am also going to show you why many children in Africa today continue to fail math using the traditional methods of learning. This innovative system of learning math is so easy that you can see improvement in your child's ability in just a few lessons. Do you remember learning math in school where you had to memorize equation after equation, formula after formula, until your head was spinning? How enjoyable was that? After all the memorizing and headache, most of us still don't feel proficient at math. I am going to introduce you to a system of learning which began in the 1900s in the United States. They discovered that the use of interactive media increased one's ability to learn a subject matter quickly and efficiently. The traditional method presents the material as one pile of theories, while this innovative system makes learning engaging. Comprehension increases from 25% in traditional methods to 70% using this interactive learning system. Mike and Dolly Esendu of Frontline Television Nigeria, leaders in the television industry for more than 30 years, are the innovators of this interactive education design in Africa. They wanted to address the problem of continuous mass failure in the subject of mathematics in Africa. According to the West African Examination Council, WAEC, only 29% of students who sat for the 2013 exams had a passing grade in English and mathematics. Results show a decline in students' performance when compared to 38% in 2012 and 37% in 2011. This consistent mass failure in schools warranted a response. Frontline Television responded with the development, design, and production of a learning material that is interactive and engaging. What is the idea behind the concept presented by these innovators? Learning math can be interesting and engaging for children when we show them how they already use math concepts in their everyday life. As children, we learn information through interaction, first with our parents, then our community. The brain is designed to learn through interaction. For instance, if I asked you, what does the fraction 2 over 6 mean? The idea of the equation can be taunting within itself, and we haven't even begun solving the problem yet. How about if I showed you three children who divided six bananas equally amongst themselves, so they each get two bananas? You are now more likely to understand the concept because it relates to your everyday life. The problem is the method we have been using to teach mathematics in African schools. It's not interactive, relatable, or engaging enough for children. This causes fear and anxiety. At this point, their brains will shut down during lessons and it will defend itself by daydreaming about a more fun activity. The child then mentally writes off any hopes or desires of passing the math test. Because of their fear of math, they may start avoiding classes or even start to dislike their math teacher. If we think about it, even as adults, most of us who went to a school that used the traditional system of learning still have anxiety about math. So how do children learn math in an interesting and engaging way? Introducing the 1-2-3 of maths. The secret is in the interactive DVD lessons. The 16 DVD set contains 12 key lessons, a student workbook, and a teacher's guide. All you have to do is slot the DVD into a DVD player or computer. Grab your workbook and follow the instructions with the teacher or independently with the instructor on the DVD. It's that simple! There are many reasons why you should get the 1 2 3 of maths. Reason number one it uses indigenous cultural norms in real life situations to explain math concepts. This makes learning very relatable and understandable. Children learn how math concepts are used and applied in everyday life, so they remember more of the information. Two, the program is aligned with the current approved curriculum for primary schools in West Africa. It can be introduced into the classroom lessons immediately and seamlessly. In addition, it can be used with current teaching methods. 3. The material is standardized for learning basic level mathematics, so every child is given the same opportunity. With just one DVD set and workbooks, a whole classroom can benefit simultaneously. The cost of education can be expensive, especially for schools that have limited resources. This material allows a whole classroom or school to get quality education with a small budget. 4. It's fun, so children master basic level mathematics in an interesting way that is engaging. Their fear of math is eliminated and children become more excited about learning. 5. Children learn quickly and intuitively through key lessons. They grasp math concepts easily because they understand how it applies in their everyday life. As they become more proficient with the concepts, they instinctively solve math problems naturally. 6. Children feel confident in their math ability as interest in math and other sciences develop. 
They have the tools to pursue dreams of becoming inventors, scientists, and even world leaders. 7. Anyone with a teaching background or degree can use the 123 of maths as a teaching tool, especially in underdeveloped countries where there is a shortage of math teachers. 8. It can be used independently or in classrooms with or without supervision. Parents are able to save money on expensive tutors while providing quality education at minimum cost. 9. It is a proven system of learning that improves proficiency. Children exposed to video clip instructions have a greater retention rate compared to students who only use traditional methods of instruction. 10. The most important reason why you should get the 123 of maths is simple. Students need help now. There is continuous mass failure in mathematics in all levels of education in Africa, and we can't afford to only use the traditional methods of instruction any longer. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. If Africa is to make its mark technologically in the global marketplace, she has to act quickly and be steadfast. It starts with educating the young, it starts with mathematics, and it starts with using the right technology tools to teach. The 123 of maths is the answer. The 123 of maths interactive instructional learning material is already being used by over 50,000 students, which include all Air Force primary schools in Nigeria, schools in the Niger Delta communities, some Catholic schools, and many private schools. Although this is a good start, many students in Africa still need the 123 of Maths. The 123 of Maths was well received by the Federal Ministry of Education, Nigeria, and was approved for use in schools following its review by a committee consisting of all stakeholders in the primary and secondary education department, National Mathematical Center, and other relevant organizations, including UBEC, NTI, and NERDC. Frontline Television was also invited by the African Union, AU, to showcase the 123 of Maths at an Educational Stakeholders Conference in South Africa. It received a lot of positive remarks from high-ranking officials in the educational sector in Africa. The 123 of Maths is unique because, with just a few lessons, students' proficiency in math is improved. Children are excited to learn math because it is fun and engaging. It uses indigenous cultural norms to relate math concepts, so it is perfect for the African child. It also saves money because children are prepared to successfully pass the entrance exams. Using the traditional methods alone is ineffective and thus far has not corrected the problem of mass failure. The problem is not improving. It's actually getting worse. It is time to raise the standard of education in Africa. We need to act now. Get the 123 of math today for an African child and improve the educational standard in Africa.